free going to be taken by Brendan Cummins. 36 years of age since the 11th of May. The elder Lemon on this Tipperary side that are determined to retain their All-Ireland title. Recent Puck Father champion drops it in. Danger again for Dublin. There's a chance there for Joey Bowling. Out for his own count. Two Dublin players around him. One is Niall Corker. Gives it inside for his bottom mark. Didn't control it the first time. And here come Dublin again. McCaffrey gives it long. Putting the brakes on and turning is Liam Ryan. Sending it in towards Paul Ryan. Paddy Stapleton did a little bit of a header. The eldest uh, the slipper seemed to hit off his helmet. Michael Cahill is there to recover. Still can Good block down. Now, umpire says wide ball. And the Dublin players are protesting, and particularly Rhino De Wire. And it might help Ryan to know that the umpire there was the referee's dad. So he better not give out too much. Well, I'd like to see that one again, Marty. I, I you know, I felt that. Michael Cal was pulled by the arm or going to be in a free out put him. I thought the ball went off him, but Dublin again. Strong in the half back line, defending admirably. Shane Durkin takes a pretty hefty hit from Bonamar. It was an accident, to be honest with you, but Shane Durkin felt the pain. Doesn't ease the pain. Richard Stakeler, all our Munster winning captain in 1987 for Tipperary, with an All Ireland winning captain beside him from 95 and 97. Carl McAllister just notes the name, not showing a yellow card. Common sense, may I say, by the referee. Clash of heads between Bonner Marr and Shane Durkin. Yeah, any frontal tackle, Marty, is going to go with the, the person in possession and, um, you know, just an accident for them. You know, Shane Durkin got a hefty tackle. The one thing that I'd be concerned about for Tipperary, Marty, if I was uh, there, one, they're, they're not, they're, they're, there's no width to their attack really, they're not knocking balls up the left and side, even Bonamar, who's renowned left half forward, he's playing in the middle, everything is going up and down the middle instead of, you know, trying to pull tip out or pull Dublin out to the wings and try and walk the ball short and, uh, and run at them. The free is taken, ball is wide. It's hard to believe, Donald, that this is the Tipperary team that scored 7-19 in the Munster final. Well, Marty, when you come into a game as hot favourites, you know, if there's anything in your mind that feel, ah, look, we'll get by this no matter how we play, you know, that's a dangerous um, that's a dangerous uh, train of thought to bring into any big game. And, you know, Dubs have nothing to lose. Come in here, give it, give it their all. Whether they'll be able to keep it up to the finish, well, that's a moot point. We'll have to wait and see. Dara Plunkett is on for Alan McCrabb. Simon Lambert is the blood substitute for Shane Durkin. Tipperary go on the attack. Great catch by Peter Kelly. Fabulous fielding by the full-back, who is, as we know, not the, actually the first-choice full-back, he's more of a wing-back, but by gosh, isn't he doing well under the high ball? Under a little bit of pressure here is Conor Manning. Liam Rush stopped in his tracks this time by John O'Keefe. Lays it off, smartly. Pass was just a little bit strong. Joy Bowling stands firm. Goes for distance again, cut out by Michael Cahill. Might change the direction to try and expose this stubborn defence. Panama on a right hold battle with Michael Park. Gets away this time. Good work this time by John O'Brien. Beats left corner back. Paul Schutte. But it took a deflection. And that is another 65 for Tipperary. Their third of the day. Great catch by John O'Brien. But a little bit of ambitious, I think. Like we're under another pressure. Going for a goal. I think he'd be delighted to get the ball. Um, you know, that it knocked off the pair and out for the 65. Tipperary uh, may well be making changes in their half-forward line. It's an attack that really hasn't blossomed the way they did in uh, Parky Keeve against Waterford, but I suppose it was a day when everything went right for Tipperary. And when, as Donald mentioned, when you come into a game hot favourites, it is difficult when you anticipate victory. Well, Marty, the, the, the example of the will be see the referee. You know, the, this is a force in Crow Park. Um, he may have to go off and uh, replace his, uh, his jersey if there's blood on it, according to the rules. But um, you know, good boxing physio there will probably fix him up. But that 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 last uh, sequence of play where Paul Curran caught the ball from Peter Kelly, went back up or drove it back up to Peter Kelly. Why he couldn't have driven it down into the corners, I'm not sure. We play that kind of a game. It's an easy defensive game, and uh, you know, Tip aren't working the ball out at all. 
This is his third 65. Previous two went sailing between the posts. Here it comes. Straight over. That's his fifth point of the match. And Tipperary stretch in front. Pa Bark is coming on for Tipperary. And Bonner Mar is going to make way for him. Pa Bark is a player that has uh, been knocking on the door for this Tipperary team for quite some time. 23 years of age since uh, May 18th last. Won an All Ireland minor in 06. Good play. Great catch, this time by Conor O'Mahony. Peter Kelly and John O'Brien go up for it. Kelly half blocks it. Comes far as Gary Maguire. Looked over towards the Cusick stand side, but there was nobody really available, so had to go along again. Paul Curran thus forward. Far as Noel McGrath. Two against two here. Kelly. Magnificent under the high ball. He really is having a, a bit of a stormer, despite that early blip when Lara Corbett scored a goal after just two minutes. Dublin. In the attack, Conor O'Mahon has to go back into his own full back line. Good hands. Shane Durkin, impressive. Johnny McCaffrey, Rhino the wire, stepping inside the challenge of no less a player than Torek Maher. Still on the wire, but as he judged it, the umpire is going for his flag, and that's come over the bar. I have to say, my initial thought that that was going wide. Let's have a look at it again. Well, I was certain it went over the bar, Marty. Lovely hands there from me, short to hurry up and just hit it high, and it just crept in over the bar. Very slow shot, but uh, I felt it here from my position. Good point from Ryan Dubois. Dolan Grady says it's a point. I'm happy. <laughs> Puck out comes down for his own gallop. Half blocked by Nile Corcoran. Referee has blown a whistle. The linesman didn't have his flag up, but is he giving a free to own Kelly? Owen Kelly is not too sure either. Yeah, I, th I think he felt that the linesman had, was just about to put up his flag and he blew, and uh, once you blow then, Marty, the play has to stop. Here comes uh, Brendan Maher. Good ball. Dangerous ball. Faris Garod right. That's his second point of the game. Tipperary stretch their lead. But it's not as easy as it was meant to be. Looks like Peter Kelly is down injured, needing a little bit of uh, physio treatment from Eamon Riley, former Cavan footballer, now working in the Santry Sports Clinic. Puck out, comes down towards John O'Keefe. Hefty shoulder on him, on Liam Ryan, that is. And that's going to be a sideline ball for Tipperary. Sturdy wing back. Dalo ponders a change with Kieran Heatherton and Richard Stakelum. Vincent Tehan and John McAvoy, the rest of the management team. Shute gets a hurley. Joey Boland has been magnificent at centre half back. Noel McGrath goes up and gathers. Good call. Farris Garrod Ryan stopped. Line ball Tipperary off the boot of Shane Durkin. Noel McGrath going to take this. Well, he's well capable, Marty, is sticking this over the bar. And um, you can see the, you know, when he gets the ball, things change for Tip. He uses a short ball or he runs himself very clever. And uh, I think it's, it's benefiting him that he's out in the middle. Noel McGrath won't be 21 until December. But he seems to be around for quite a while. Stalemate in the corner. That's going to be a throw ball. Brought out to the 20-meter line. Just over 10 minutes left in this All-Ireland semi-final. John O'Brien. Hand passes it back. Just about kept in. Comes to Peter Kelly. 
lays it off. First time in McCaffrey, struggling to keep his feet. Gives it back to Kelly. Shane Durkin. Kelly had lost his hurl. Over this side is Morris O'Brien. Thought about driving it first time. Wisely picked up the slipper and runs. Liam Rush knocked off his hurl. Lovely little flick. Rhino Dwyer. Picked up by Shane McGrath. As Tipperary perhaps step up the tempo. It's a dangerous ball to John O'Brien. He's underneath it. The ball comes loose. And the referee is given a free out to Dublin. John O'Brien can hardly believe it. And a large section of the crowd in Grove Park can't believe it. Let's have another look. Paul McAllister is explaining the referee to John O'Brien why he's giving the free out. We'll have to look at it again as uh, Gary Maguire takes the free. Perhaps a let off for Dublin. Tipperary have become aware of the puck outs being aimed on Liam Rush. Shane Durkin. Line ball to Tipperary. As Tipperary grind out this result. Just and watch this again. Uh, you know, whether the, you know, whether Paul Judah had um, John O'Brien's hand caught there and pulled him down. I'm not quite sure, Marky, but if it was a free out, he could have let the game go on because Gary Maguire was in possession. But uh, that little ball knocked over by Shane Durkin there is a, made an indication that Dublin are tired in a little bit. Niall Corcoran had to go back the second time to gather to Joey Boland. Goes long. Up towards David O'Callaghan. Michael Cahill and Conor O'Mahony are coming to terms with the Dublin attack. And Mahoney launches it hard. Knocked away. Tried to knock away by Michael Clark. Breaking ball, Shane Durkin. Good work by Tipperary, and particularly by Garold Rye. Floating this one in, but it's floating to the left and wide. It remains a two-point advantage for Tipperary. 115 to 16 points. Dublin introduced Simon Lambert. Player that's going off is Paul Schutte. Yeah, Martin, he's been very impressive. He's done his job on John O'Brien very, very well, but he's gone down a, a few times with an injury, a, a bit of cramp, or maybe a strain in his muscle. Tipperary winning a lot of ball around midfield now in the half back line. Now Corbett comes all the way out to that area to try and gather. Niall Corcoran has to go back to pick this one up. Former Galway player gives it into the centre. Joey Boland sends it along, skidding along the surface to Morris O'Brien. Good hurling by Dublin, under control. Peter Kelly lobs this in. Dotsy O'Callan is in there. Can he control it? Just about kept him playing. Paul Curran under pressure from Paul Ryan. Goes down the wing. Sideline ball. Who touched it last? Simon Lambert. A little bit of naivety because the ball was actually going out over the sideline. Sideline ball for Tipperary. Yeah, it didn't really need to play that, uh, but Peter Kelly with that ball from midfield, they need to knock the ball in low and, and put their players in position. Hitting in, hitting hopes at this stage would mean that the extra man inside from Tipperary, will always, the, the defenders will always win that. Good sideline cut. John O'Brien trying to uh, gather it into the hand. Simon Lambert pushing his way forward. Shane Durkin is there, good old Ryan. You might well see the uh, sideline very shortly because it is anticipated that there will be a change with Brian O'Mara.